This is part three of my converting motorcycles to electric power. Part one, we talked about the, the kit that I got, which has pretty much included everything but the battery. And, and then in part two, I removed everything from the dirt bike, most everything from the, from the motorcycle, and got the motor in. So this is part three. You've got the controller. I spent a little bit of time measuring and lining up, and I, and I ended up mounting the controller under the seat. And, and really, I just used some, some little strips of eighth inch, um, you know, kind of the same things I used for the motor, just bent them and, and secured them to the existing um, uh, mounting point so it it was fairly straightforward but I forgot to turn my camera on for that so this video starts just after me putting that controller in um, a couple other things of note I did the motor sticks out a little bit too far on the right side for the rear brake foot pedal to work properly and I tried bending it and getting it in a better position but it it just it was kind of difficult to do um, and so I, I went ahead and ended up putting the brake on the on the handlebar so in this part of the video I just basically ran a new brake line a longer brake line obviously um, from the left handlebar and I put the the new hand grips on uh, with both of them, of course, have the, the controls that come with it. Um, I did get a, a new chain, so I, I removed the old chain. And, you know, obviously, once you put a new brake in place, you have to, to bleed it. So this part of the video, I'm just bleeding the brakes and getting that squared away. Um, so, yeah, at this point, you know, the mounting the controller was pretty pretty straightforward, just measuring how far the the little mounting brackets needed to be, how long they needed to be, and just a few few bolts and that was in place and running the wires, um, just you know, tuck them in and, and zip tie them. So I did end up replacing uh, removing, of course, everything, including the key. And, and so then I got to this point. It's like, okay, the motor's in, the controller's in. Now I need to start really brainstorming the wiring and get the wiring all squared away. So I started putting the wiring in and seeing which connectors or how, how plug and play it was. And so if you've seen my far driver controller wiring video you'll you'll know that it took a while i actually took apart that wiring harness so that i could really trace all the wires and really wrap my brain around where everything goes and it ended up um i ended up learning a lot and i really understand the wiring now and most of it is definitely plug and play but there are a few things to note, so I would encourage you to watch that video if you want to know a little bit more in-depth knowledge on that that uh, wire harness and how this all gets wired up. And um, got the new chain and adjusted it, so it seems to be good. Seems to be lined up pretty well. I just cut a piece of wood to just set in place because I'm going to have to build the battery box still but I've got a couple of <laughs> 36 volt batteries getting together just for a quick little uh, zip around the, the neighborhood um, just to make sure everything works but I've tucked the wires up a little bit I still need to wire the headlight and tail light but I've I'm pretty close I think I understand what I need to do now at that point um, I did have to reverse the direction of the motor through the software that you can use. It has that Bluetooth connection and then once you go in there you hit the <clears throat> the learn button and 
wasn't exactly sure how it worked but basically I hit the learn button and when it was in learn mode I just kind of kept flipping the throttle a little bit until it started going in the, the right direction and then I hit the save so that's really all I've done and that seems to be working I also need to permanently mount the switch and um, so like I said the the switch that came with it I couldn't get to work with my blinkers I so I changed it out to this one and we'll see how that goes I'll probably just wire them separate from the the system not not as worried about it showing on the display um, like I said I've got the the switch wired um, and it does show um, the the throttle when you you know it's it seems to be working shows the the battery voltage and the speed um, those are the main things I'm worried about anyway but I'll, I'll keep playing with the the wiring um, I did change out the the rear brake to this to, to a left-handed so that was really just changing out the the cable putting a new one in there 15 bucks or something change out the cable and snake it to the back and then bleed it so I've got the new brake uh, line in and that's working um, I did put the controller under the the seat originally I was thinking I could just swap two of those wires but I ended up having to change the direction in the controller um, I'll clean things up a little bit more, but I figured I would at least at this point. I think the motors Seems to be in pretty good spot. I might need to fine-tune it after I drive it around the neighborhood a little bit And then I've got a decent amount of space for the battery, but uh, Not as much as I would like it's gonna be tight trying to get those Chevy Volt batteries in there. I might have to cut some of the plastic off because they're close they're like 10 inches with this extra plastic it has around it and that space is more like eight inches so we'll see um, I'm also playing with the idea of building some cheap used 18650 packs um, really yeah I think it seems to be it seems to be doing good most of the switches the display the throttle I mean it and the the speed switch it definitely it definitely goes a lot faster with the in third gear so we know the the speed thing works um, throttle works the display is kind of giving me an idea of how fast I'm going and uh, so yeah I'll I'll try to do a quick test and then I'll work on getting the headlights and brake lights and blinkers working and then I will build a battery box and get all that squared away so stay tuned.